as though it's only a matter of time before Belarus gets involved in this fight. So when it happens, just remember, you heard it here first. 70,000 Chechen fighters are ready to join the special military operation, according to Kadyrov, who is now third in command of the Russian military. So I believe right now, uh, at least within Ukraine, it goes Shoigu, it goes the, uh, what's his name, Gen General Armageddon, and then Kadyrov. Now, there's only 10,000 Chechen guys fighting there right now. If they throw 70,000 into the fight, I mean, that is definitely a game changer because as far as I can tell, these Chechen guys get off fighting these kind of wars. One of these Chechen fighters, uh, based on some of the stuff that I've seen, some of the video footage I've seen, is the equivalent of like three to four NATO fighters and Russian fighters as well. Uh, they're just... Uh, they live and breathe for war. They're kind of like a modern-day Spartans of sorts. I'm surprised Khabib isn't in there joining them yet. So I think that this, and these guys are very well-armed, very well-trained. It's only a matter of time, I think, before they start to double, if not triple, their numbers in this fight. And I do believe when that happens, uh, Ukraine's going to have a hard time dealing with those guys. Like I said, 5,000 pounds of Chechen soldiers that are going to flood into Ukraine, fighting on Russia's side, folks. 70,000. Okay, I think I got it up on the big screen for you guys, so let me enlarge this, and I'm gonna play this so you guys can watch this. But this is a, a massive, massive mobilization of Chechen forces, folks. 70,000 Chechen fighters. And I think this is the right video. I hope it is, or maybe not. <laughs> There's so many videos on this article, but these are just some of the Chechen uh, forces that will be put into the battle uh, alongside Russian uh, regular military. Now, these are Muslim soldiers, folks. Uh, Chechnya is mostly Muslim, so these are Muslim fighters fighting for President Vladimir Putin, and I don't think this is the video that I wanted. No, it's not. So I'm going to minimize this and see if I can find the right video. But they, uh, in this video, I'm going to show you. Here we go. All right. I think, I think I got it now. So this is the video that I wanted to show you. This, this is the massive amount of the Chechen fighters right now. Chechnya has mobilized their entire uh, military. They have been training these soldiers for the last six months. And Chechnya right now is mobilizing about 70,000 new Islamic military soldiers to go to Ukraine to fight. And this guy right here, let me stop it. Well, hold on. This guy right here, let me back it up just a, just a minute. This guy in the center of the screen, this is Ranzov Kartorov. I think I pronounced his uh, name right. Kartorov. He is the Chechen leader, the guy with the green hat on. So let me keep on playing. So they're meeting, I guess, all the top commanders here. But look at the size of this army, folks. Look at the size of this army. These are all Chechen military. All the military that you're seeing right now uh, is Chechen. And it looks like it goes on and on and on. 70,000 70, soldiers. This is uh, the leader of Chechnya right here in the middle. They are Muslim, Islamic, and they are going to be fighting on the side of Russian forces for this largest military mobilization since World War II, folks. You are witnessing history right now. These are historic times that Russia is mobilizing over a million soldiers, something that has not happened since World War II, over 80 years. The world is gearing up for, it does look like World War III. And um, folks, it, it doesn't look good. But I'm trying to give you the breaking news, all of the pertinent information. I mean, look at that. Look at all these soldiers. This is unbelievable. I didn't think I would see this in my lifetime, but what we're witnessing, folks, uh, is things that is going to shake the world. 
by the end of this year, our world will be completely different. I do believe, folks, after this war, and I do believe this war will spread. I believe China will eventually go after Taiwan, and we're going to have a world war with North Korea, Israel, Iran, China, Russia, all of us fighting. So let me, let me stop this now. But folks, don't wait another day because...